Hello everyone! Oh, I missed you! Praise God! Thank you so much for returning to the channel and for your patience. I have a very fun confirmation of what God has pressed on to me about what's going on with this um, evergreen boat. And it's interesting because I on the side of the boat it says evergreen, but I have seen it called evergiven. So I'm, I'm, I'm praying over why there's two names. So I'm praying that if the Lord gives me an answer on that, I will give it back to you. But in print, I've seen it called Ever Given, two words. But if you look at a photo, and I'll show you in a sec, um, it says Ever Given. But anyway, and then also I have a final confirmation that wraps up the, the dream that I was given about the blue light. It's taken a little while. <laughs> We finally have some some uh, closure. <laughs> God is so good, and we are still on our journey. We're still on our road to salvation, and I thank each and every one of you for being on the road with me. I love you all so much. I truly do. I carry each and every one of you in my heart, and I, I'm so grateful to you all, especially the ones who reach out uh, and just kind of check in. I love you. I do. I, I, you know, I've been, I've been quiet, not because I really didn't have anything to share. I have so much to share with you. Like um, the Lord has been telling me, I, I gave you a dream, and I'm just, I'm just going to redo, revisit the, the video, because <laughs> I can't, I can't make this like a 30 minute video. But he, he's been pouring into me. Follow the eagle days and days now I've been hearing it and hearing it and then I was and it reminded me it was almost like the Lord like saying hello <laughs> and I was like oh yeah I did a video that you you showed me follow the eagle I believe it's a dream um, so <laughs> God is so patient with me <laughs> he really is but he has quieted my spirit so I can truly hear from him and I have been and I think I have so many things to share um, I'm going to do my best to, to pull it together <laughs> you know me blah 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 but I I only because I think of you as more than family I know some people say oh family but family you're born into a family you guys are better than family your friends we get to pick each other you know family you don't get to pick <laughs> Some of them are like, hmm, I, I love you. <laughs> I love you. But you didn't pick your family. Like it's a co like a coworker at work. You don't get to pick them either. Um, I actually told that to my, my staff one day. <laughs> you don't get to pick them either, just like family. But, I, but you guys are better than family. You are my family. But you're better than family because you're my friends. And I got to pick you and you picked me. Anyway, there, I, I could go on. You're seeing Romans, and I have a small story. You can zoom past this if you like. My daughter received a package from my mom, just a random gift. She just texted me, and she said it's on its way. It was a bracelet, a gold-plated bracelet, bangle bracelet. It's all, you know, one. And uh, it had Roman numerals, and my daughter looked at it, and even though she's 11, she was like, oh, I don't know if I know all the numbers. I said, well, these are numbers, so you can count, and you can figure out each numeral, Roman numeral. She knew they were Roman numerals, but I said, you can figure out each Roman numeral by the, sh you know, counting. You can follow along. So she counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And when she got to 12, I heard, and that's either the end. Oh, I apologize. I didn't write it down. Oh. Either, I, I'm sorry, I was either heard, that's the end, or that's all. I can't remember, but it was something like that. Is That's the end, or that's all. And I was like, wow. And I stopped for a second. Roman numerals, Roman. I was like, that's in the Bible, Roman. And then 12 was the last number before I heard the word. So Roman 12. So I went to Roman 12, and this is where I was at. I beseech you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world. Amen. 
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God and I pray that was a blessing to you and it brings up so much hope our living sacrifice us is reasonable service and acceptable unto God so beautiful you're enough God loves you just like you are and the mercies and grace and love that he's poured upon you says that you are acceptable unto him so I pray that is a blessing to you and I just I, I even called my mom and thanked her once I, I got the message through Romans of course she's a ex-teacher I love her so much she made a whole lesson plan <laughs> on Roman numerals I love her so much my uh, my daughter is blessed by having a grandmother like her okay so I want to get to okay I want to get to the Suez Canal the evergreen or the ever given and please pray over this <laughs> please pray over this and if you have any information please share it in comments I'd love to chat with you about this as well as the blue light confirmation so let's get started okay so this is a dream that I had and it was really detailed and there was so many um, incremental little little sections of it and uh, some of those sections came true major ones um, the blue light the con ed the um, baseball diamond where I saw all the people standing I was trying to get the shape and I, I showed a shape of a baseball diamond um, and then um, the school nearby my daughter had a dream uh, as well when I woke up she had woken up from a dream and she was at a school so I thought that was interesting because I dreamt of a school in my dream and then she woke up and had a school dream so God was just pouring into us both um, so I thought that was amazing but also uh, the people were at the diamond blue diamond they were just sort of standing there waiting for something to happen and the, or the, the diamond and the blue light happened so I I was like okay but there was a part before that they these people who were at the the diamond waiting for the thing to happen it turned out to be the blue light in my dream they were at a party okay so I saw these people that were you know celebrating having a party and I wasn't sure exactly what kind of what they were celebrating or what the party was I wasn't sure if it was a holiday but I knew there was something like a holiday around it well and I want to say thank you to the beautiful soul that I was um, chatting with in comments I, I didn't get your permission to show your you know our full conversation so I'll just briefly go over it but um, we ended up talking about this dream and turned out I got like a inspiration from the Lord and I asked do you think that the speech that happened on the um, January 6th was like this the speech that the person in my dream had is it do you think it's similar and after you know going back conversation and fellowshipping that we both kind of agree that it's a possibility so I prayed on it and I believe the Lord um, revealed to me that yes that's exactly what it was because it was almost the same the speech that I heard was almost the same speech that I can't say it the leader of America at the time made um, on that day that was that caused that had all this conspiracy around it not conspiracy controversy I'm trying to be careful my words we have to these days uh, anyway so I in the dream there was this person and I couldn't tell if there were two but they were moving like one and the person was covered in a quilt you couldn't see their face his and I say there but really it was he that could have been she um, but they were covered in this quilt and no one was really either paying attention to them or or they couldn't see them but they were moving like in tandem like if they were on a bike and they were moving at this in the same motion um, together and kind of making their way through the crowd and then all of a sudden 
this person made an announcement uh, to the crowd, like stood on a, it was like an office party or something. They stood on a desk or something. I see cubicles and one of those spiral, um, gosh, what are they called? Staircases in the middle. And he st stood near the spiral. I can still see it. He stood near the spiral, um, sorry, the Lord is pouring into me right now, uh, staircase. And he stood up and he made it and he made this like declaration, um, speech, but it was also like a proclamation like they had to follow it and he was saying you very forcefully you are invited to go to this place and he and he's saying the place and he's saying at this time and I believe he said three o'clock and um you, you need to go and you need to do this and it was all this and I you know and um you know it was it was like nice words like saying you have you're wearing a really nice dress <laughs> but it was saying in such a powerful way that you're almost like whoa you know so it was a powerful thing but he was saying nice things it wasn't bad things so it made me uh the lord how can i put this i'm so excited the lord gave me an understanding after this fellowship with uh, my you know dear friend beloved soul of god a uh, child of god that it could have been this person's speech, not necessarily the person, because it was a hidden person in my dream. But I believe that the speech was like the match that lit their wick, but not necessarily intention of lighting a wick, but he did light a match, if you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not political, that's not me, but what I'm saying is, his words and his they use his words to convey their own message and so I think that's what I saw in the dream is I saw this person using those words for the people who were the ones who went inside not the really the ones who stayed outside this was a smaller a group of people and then I think that's what the Lord showed me so okay so that's a confirmation on that and please pray over this because that was a and I'll leave the video in um, the description because lots of powerful things happened I think that was a very pow powerful day and that blue light was a huge symbol of something but it was I knew in the dream it was like their power they wanted to show what they could do and when it actually happened it was like they did it they actually whatever the blue light was was like something had begun it was it was another match lit I, I wish I had more I can't I, I wish I had more but the Lord hasn't given me more so I can only give you what I've gotten okay so I pray that was a blessing to you please pray over it and I'm so happy that the Lord finally gave me full understanding of that dream because that doesn't always happen right amen uh, but basically I think it's all together and it's all important uh, so I'll leave all the videos so you can watch uh, now let's get to this um, Suez Canal and the boat that's jammed in the canal okay so this this boat that is in the canal and see it says evergreen here but also if you do everspace given g-i-v-e-n that comes up as well so I don't know if it's a typo um, I don't I all I can say is on the side of the boat if you look closely it looks like evergreen all one word and they actually this um, article reads it as evergreen but anyway they are jammed in the Suez Canal and I had to look it up because to be quite honest uh, ge geography class was a long time ago <laughs> and uh, the Suez Canal says it's in the Red Sea Egypt and that was a that was a light for me because I know where I, what the Lord has already given me so it's like oh okay so what else happened in the Red Sea Egypt it's kind of an important spot uh, Red Sea Moses he parted the Red Sea because he knew Pharaoh was coming he wanted his those people back but those people are God's people he didn't have rights to them God um, proclaimed to Moses and had Moses gather his people 
free them and get them to the promised land and with God grace and mercy Moses parted the Red Sea so God's people could cross so this is a very spiritually strong area and for this to happen I think it's important now we have to go back um, I, well actually I'm gonna go back to Noah okay so this when I heard the story I thought oh how sad you know commerce has already been slowed down for what's going on in the world and now this thing happens and oh it's gonna cost so much money and oh and, you know I'm going through this but then I heard a uh, reporter talking and they mentioned could there be animals on there nobody really knows the cargo so I, I started praying I said oh Lord oh if there's animals please help them get them off feed them something and then I felt a stirring I've been praying for the Lord to pour into me and I felt a stirring and I was reminded years ago 2018 three years ago just over the Lord well, I was told by a sister of God from the Netherlands, and the Lord told me with that fellowship that this was an important story to do a video on. And I asked her, I said, is it all right if I report this? I believe this happened in the Netherlands. It's been so long. It happened in the Netherlands, and I asked her if it was okay, and she said yes if I did a story, because I had done so many, if you remember, I did like three or four videos on Noah. God just kept pouring Noah into me, and then she came to me uh, in comments and asked if I had uh, heard about this incident that happened. A replica of Noah's Ark, not the original one, of course, but a replica of Noah's Ark ran aground, ran into a bunch of boats. Uh, not ran aground, but it ran into a bunch of boats. It got loose. It broke from its, you know, the what they tie it off, and it got loose from a storm. They had a huge storm, and it got loose and it ran to a bunch of boats. And it's there's a lot of biblical. Um, I think some of the boats that the that the, the replica ran into had biblical names. It was a very interesting. Uh, it was a, a huge topic of conversation, but. In essence, it re that's what it reminded me of. And I went back to Noah. Noah and the ark and the animals. And also the evergreen. Are there animals? And so I did some digging. Animals are involved in this story. There's other boats that are in the uh, out in the ocean, in the Red Sea, that are waiting to get in. Over 230. This happened on March the 23rd, uh, 2021. So there's a lot of numbers in here. I'm not a numbers person, but have fun. <laughs> there's a lot of numbers. So they're saying there could be anywhere around 92,000 animals, livestock, on 14 different ships that are just waiting to get in, plus whatever might be on the Evergreen slash Ever Given uh, ship. So I just thought this was amazing. We have a ship run aground in the Red Sea near Egypt where same place in, in same region same area that Noah parted the Red Sea for for Exodus this is all Exodus when look it up um, where the God's children escaped Pharaoh going into Noah with his ark and his ship ark full of animals that later when we saw it in the news a replica ran aground and this ship ran aground there is something here it is it's like a stew that's not quite come a stew if you have something to share with this I would love to hear but the Lord is pouring into this there's this, this it, God is all over this and he poured into me I can still feel the his love and his attention to what's going on with this but there's more to this story there's more to it and I would love to hear I'm gonna I don't want to take any more of your time it's going on so long but uh, I, I, this felt so important please pray over this I'm still praying over this but there's something about this evergreen ship 
what is on, what is is on it what's the cargo because we know what Noah's cargo was and it was very important and where they came aground once the ground actually when the water subsided and went down and you know away they came to ground and where they came to ground is where they the boat stopped so you know it just it just now this boat is ran aground and they're gonna have to get all the cargo off of it and, and salvage the boat um, you know and, and make ground right there where they are so they can get the boat out of the canal but they might have to take that boat apart anyway there's just so much to it there was so much to this it felt so blessed God is speaking God is has his hand on this and I would love to see what you think or what God is pressing on to you and what you've prayed over and what he has uh, shared with you I would love it please share in comments I, I like I said I don't want to take all your time on this um, okay so I want to end with a happy Palm Sunday slash Passover today I love you and Jesus loves you too and we are in this together I'm with you I'm right there with you and so is Jesus he's right by your side with you on your path to salvation every step he is in step with you loving you and caring for you and God he is all around us he you are never alone God is the wind God is a beautiful flower God is a rainy day God is a sunny day and a rainbow. God is with you and he loves you just the way you are. Beseech ye brethren. Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3. He loves you just the way you are. Please take care. And so do I. <laughs> Please take care. Pray this is a blessing to you. I'm going to let you go. You know, I could keep you. And I do right in my heart. Please take care and may God bless you and keep you always. Bye for now. Praying we talk very soon. Oh, and I'm going to do, and I know, here I go. I'm going to do a revisit video on um, follow the eagle. There's something about that. I did a video, um, I think a year ago back, and I, the God has just been screaming, and then I had that vision not too long ago about an eagle. So there's something about this eagle, and I see him flying. So uh, it's very important. Um, I'm just going to do the revisit to save you a little bit of time. But I love you all. Take care. Bye for now. Praying to talk soon.